good day to you. We bring the word of the Lord and the vision of the Lord. What I saw today was the Lord saying, however weak you are, however insignificant or small you may look, the Lord is raising an army of God's people in this COVID times, these difficult times. Deliverance is in their, is their song and healing in their hands. The Lord is raising up an army. And I saw there was what looked like a large like like a rose but made out of out of cloth a pink colored cloth I was wondering what this is and the Lord said that fits on the head of a child of God and the child of God didn't look powerful looked quite young and it expanded like a tent or like an umbrella like that and the Lord said whatever is under that head covering is safe COVID safe everywhere safe then I remembered Psalm 91, our old verse, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall extend the covering of the Almighty El Shaddai all around, maybe 6 feet, 12 feet, who knows how much, all that. So every Christian family becomes the refuge of the Lord, the umbrella, the tent of covering. And the Lord moves from tent to tent, protecting. And then who knows, COVID can be driven out as the, Lord, the people with the Lord's tent increases. They are a weak people, not a powerful people, not a well-known people. Here, this is how the Lord took it up from Zechariah 12 verse 8. In that day, Zechariah 12 8, in that day the Lord will defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And the one who is feeble among them in that day will be like David and the house of David will be like God, like the angel of the Lord before them. So, is feeble among them. Even the weak, feeble ones, Lord is raised up. So keep your family prayer strong, devotion, words of prophecy, words of knowledge, supplication, intercession, spreads out from your secret place and the Lord gives a covering. Who knows for how many. And I want to take this up from Zephaniah also. But I will leave among you. Zephaniah 3 verse 12. But I will leave among you a humble and lowly people and they will take refuge in the name of the Lord. Uh, so they are a humble and lowly people but the Lord makes them strong. Lord has taken away his judgment. On that day it will be said of Jerusalem, do not be afraid. Oh, do not be afraid, O Zion. The Lord your God in your midst, a victorious warrior. Zephaniah 317, a humble people, 312 says, Zephaniah 312 says, I will leave among you a humble and lowly people, but they will take refuge in the name of the Lord. 317 says, the Lord your God is in your midst, a victorious warrior. He will exult over you with joy. He will quiet in his love. He will rejoice over you with shouts of joy. Praise the Lord. I will gather those who grieve about the appointed feast. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, we thank you. Will all your prayers, I will save the lame and gather the outcasts. I will turn their shame into praise and renown in all the earth. And the Lord promises that though there are humble people or oh, afflicted people, the Lord is a victorious warrior in their midst. This is our word for today. Also, I want to take you to Isaiah 32. Isaiah 32. What a promise. So, so we know in our nation, all the hospitals are getting crowded, but we are taking our hope in God. And we are extending this covering, the, the sheath of covering uh, from every Christian home into the neighborhood. And we are extending a rod and a staff even to the government of Sri Lanka that they will do for the, pe well, for the people of Sri Lanka. They will catch a heart of a shepherd for the people of Sri Lanka because God's people in Sri Lanka is hoping in God. We are hoping in God. We are hoping in his shade and he's making every Christian home. As Isaiah 32 says, Behold, a king will reign righteously. Isaiah chapter 32. And princes will rule justly. Each will be like a refuge from the wind and a shelter from the storm. Like streams of water in a dry country. Like the shade of a huge rock in a parched land. So see this. There are winds. But the rule, uh, the Lord is the king and we are his princes. We are asked to rule justly. God is king and we are his princes. Uh, we are, so we will be a refuge. The COVID is a terrible wind. But we will be a refuge and it will not blow into our territory. 
and a shelter from the storm. We are the shelter in the COVID storm. God's people, the family prayer line will hold. Like, you know, in the Second World War, there was a Western line and an Eastern line. But in, in this COVID war, God's Eastern line, God's Western line will hold. Like streams of water in a dry country. Like, and, and we are the streams of water in the COVID drought. We are the, so every, the Christian's prayer, the word, uh, his ministry, his life, God is making it a, a stream of water. And like the shade of a huge rock in a parched land, it's whole nation, nation after nation are COVID parched. But God is making his people shade of a huge rock. Then what happens because of this? The eye of those who see will not be blinded anymore. You know, Isaiah 30 said, eyes will see but will not see. Ears will hear but will not hear. But here is the difference. Eyes of those who see will not be blinded. And the ears of those who hear will listen. The mind of the hasty will discern truth. And the tongue of the stammerer will hasten to speak clearly. So this is the time that the Lord is making Lord is making God's people a refuge and their witness will be heard their lifestyle will be seen and people will believe on the Lord we bless you Lord Jesus for this promise God bless you keep strong this evening 7 p.m. is our night of hope uh, come listen if you want a, a, a specific clip you can we can send you the link uh, you can send your Request to 77 or else please go on the same Facebook page you are seeing this. It will be live cast from there. Night of Hope, today, 7 p.m. And if you need my, I have, a, I have an app, download is free, Golden Nuggets. Uh, from Apple Store or from Google, you can have that app. Golden Nuggets, Dr. Lalit Mendes. All my clips are there, scientific talks, science talks and any other. Uh, God bless you, keep you today. That you will be the refuge in the storm. Say to yourself, and the Lord's treasures is covering through you, over you. In Jesus' name, Amen.